How's it going? Oh my gosh, so good to see y'all. Hey, as you pop on here, say hey. Tell me where you're tuning in from. If you're not familiar, I'm the uh, mother maker of a maker studio, and I am so excited to show you something today. Look at this. This is, you may have seen some uh, collateral, some things on it. Look at this. This is an adorable purse that we have at a maker studio now, all outfitted that you can make. If you go to the link below, you're gonna see there is a kit that we've put together that you can make this adorable purse yourself. Look at this. I am absolutely in love. Guys, I'm just gonna tell you, this looks like a purse that you would see in a really cute area in Nordstrom's or Saks because it's so artistic looking. And the great thing is when you're going to concerts um, and of football games, they make you have a clear purse. So that way there's nobody carrying something they shouldn't. So here it's kind of covered up a little bit, but it's so cute. So I want to talk, I want to take you through the process of how to create this purse. If you share this video, your name's going to go in for a drawing that we're going to be giving away the kit. So all you have to do is tag some good friends, share this video. Your name is going to go in for a drawing and day after tomorrow, we're going to announce the winner. So I wanna walk you through how to create this. It's too fun and too easy. So if you go to the link below, you'll notice that we have the kit all laid out so you don't have to wonder, do I get this, do I get this? It's all in there for you together. If you've never worked with resin before, um, on, let me see, okay, there we go. If you've never worked with resin before, it is one of the most fun things that you'll ever do. It's gonna open up a whole new world. I've got so many projects that I'm gonna be showing you, but this purse, truly, what a great gift. What a great gift to give to yourself. What a great, this may even be something that you wanna be able to actually make and turn around. I know we have a ton of gals that um, make things and sell on Etsy. This is absolutely one of the cutest. Can you imagine wearing this and people be like, okay, wait a minute, where did you get that purse? And what can you do? You can say, I made it. That's the whole point of enjoying the bragging rights. I made this purse or what would be even better? I sell these purses. So anyway, let me show you how to do them. They're so, so easy. All right. So as you pop on here, say, Hey, tell me where you're tuning in from. It's so good to see you. So what I'm going to be working with, um, is I'm going to be working with a resin kit. Now, if you're not familiar with the world of resin, there is a hardener and then there's the actual resin itself. So they go as an A and a B. So the resin is actually A, the hardener is B. They always have to go together. You cannot use them separately. And until they're put together, um, they're not gonna do their magic. It's kind of like Bondo. If you've ever done Bondo, you've repaired any type of furniture. So what we first need to do is we're gonna mix our acrylic. All right, so you'll notice um, that I'm working with silicone cups. You don't wanna work with plastic cups, glass, anything like this. The reason we work with silicone is because the resin doesn't adhere to the silicone, it releases. So that way, if there's some in here, you can turn these inside out, you can just pop them out and they're really easy to keep clean. So make sure that you always keep a silicone cup. We have these on a makerstudio.com. Um, so you can just buzz over there and get them. Or if you go link to the link below, these actually come in your kit. So you're always gonna have one for the resin and one for the hardener. So I'm gonna go in and pour these up in here. As you pop on here, say, hey, my name is Amy Howard and we are gonna be giving away one of these kits to the lucky person that shares this video, tag some friends, and your name will go in for a drawing, and we're gonna be giving it away day after tomorrow. So I love doing that. It makes, it makes doing these lives a lot more fun. Now, let me show you. If you can tell already, what's the difference? Have you noticed how the hardener is much more liquid? How it's gonna come out a lot faster? You have to use equal parts. So that's part of the great thing about having on the side, you can see with our silicone cups, you can see the markings. It has to be identical, 50-50. So I'm going to go on, as a rule, I will pour the um, hardener in, in into the resin because the resin is a thicker um, consistency and it's just easier to clean out of my silicone cup into um, the actual resin. So I'm going to pour this in here. 
And you're gonna get a couple of uh, wood popsicle sticks or craft sticks, whatever you wanna call them. You wanna make sure that you scrape all of that out of the silicone cup. And then that way you're gonna see your consistency. You wanna start blending it. Now here's a very, very important tip. When you're working with resin, it's important not to stir too fast because you don't wanna create bubbles, but you do wanna make sure that you stir this really well for two to three minutes. A lot of people, you'll, you'll stir it for like 30 seconds and you're like, okay, that's good. It's like, no, you need to keep stirring it for two to three minutes because what it's doing, it's fusing the hardener into the resin, which is gonna make it um, prettier now, and it's gonna be more durable. The nice thing I love about our resin, and all resins are not, the, are not alike, is the fact that you do not need a, an, a UV light to harden this. It will harden naturally overnight. The other thing is you're gonna notice our resin will not turn yellow, and that's big. There's a lot of cheaper resins out there, and when you've spent a lot of time and energy, maybe on, a, on an acrylic block or um, like a gorgeous purse like this, you do not, the last thing you want it to do is to turn yellow. So this is guaranteed not to turn yellow. So I'm stirring it up, and you're gonna notice, can you see down in there, sometimes you'll get a few bubbles. Don't let that freak you out. That's perfectly okay and very normal. And so what I can do, a lot of times, I'll just have a hair dryer or a heat gun next to me, and I can just go over it if I have a lot of bubbles and the heat from my hair dryer or my heat gun will pop those bubbles and it will make it all clear. All right, so now I'm gonna give this one last stir. Another thing I want you to do as you're working on this is I really would like to make sure that you wear um, either a dust mask or you're working in a really well ventilated area because resin does have a smell to it. Um, it's, not, um, it's not highly toxic, but it does have these fumes that I just wanna make sure that you're, um, that you're aware of. And I usually I'll set up a fan, just kind of blow that smell because y'all know that I'm asthmatic. So now that I've got this poured up, I wanna make sure that I use it within 30, uh, 30 minutes because what's gonna happen is gonna start to thicken. Now, I'm gonna come, and if you see these, these lines, and this is the mold for my purse. It's kind of funny looking, isn't it? But you're gonna see, it, it makes sense. All right, so I'm gonna go on, and all I've got is this little kind of valley that I'm actually gonna be pouring this into. So I'm gonna kind of take my time, and I'm okay because if it gets on this part, that's actually a part that I'm gonna be flooding. So I'm just gonna pour it down and it's gonna go down into the mold. So as it starts to kind of go down, you'll start to see how it's gonna seep down into it and start to fill up all the way around. Now. I'm just kind of working my way all the way around my mold. And if you're just now popping on here, I am working on an adorable purse that truly is very much on trend. I think it makes a great gift. I think it makes a great gift for ourselves. Now I'm gonna to start to fill this in. You see kind of about how much I'm pouring. I'm being very careful not to overdo it, I'm taking my time. Because to pouring it too fast, you can have more bubbles and we don't want that. So you saw about how much I measured out. Um, and I haven't even used half of it. So there, this allows me the rest of the half to be able to do the second side of my, my purse. All right, so now I wanna show you, I'm gonna move this out of the way. Now, you wanna make sure that that dries um, overnight. I just allow it to cure. I've got some of this on here. Don't pay any attention to my, um, to my letters. But now, so this has actually dried. Again, this is the back of the, of the purse mold. Here's the front. Now watch. I'm just gonna go in and pull this like this. Pull it down, pull your mold down. And see where it came and kind of filled all in. Look at this. Look at that. 
Now, here's the cool thing, guys. You can use these again and again and again. I know a gal in Nashville that she actually makes these and resells them for $250. Are you ready? Like, come on. That is fantastic. What a great side hustle for somebody to be able to make these purses. And you can customize them. So if you've got a friend that... Um, uh, maybe she likes a certain design or if you want to decoupage them, you can. But here's the thing that I want you to remember. Part of the whole reason why we're wanting to show you how to do these. In making these purses that are clear, the whole point, we're coming on football season. You've got to have a clear purse. If you want to be able to go into a football game, you want to go into um, a concert, you've got to have a clear purse. So that way, everything's in here. They can see it. You can put your lipstick. You can put your credit cards. Um, a comb, your phone, it's great. So that way it's just over your shoulder and the chain is long enough that it's really very utilitarian. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, what I wanna be able to show you with the designs that are on our purse that we have here as the example, this has all been done with a transfer. So you don't have to be able to paint, you don't have to, um, you don't have to have any particular skills per se, except we wanna make sure that we lay out the composition really pretty. I think that's what's so nice about this purse is the fact that it's got oval eye track, it's really beautiful, look at that. And who doesn't love butterflies and the script? I think it's very Parisian looking and butterflies as far as themes are very much um, on trend, kinda like mushrooms. All right, so we're gonna cut out some of our transfer here. If you've never worked with our transfers, they're incredibly easy to work with and somewhat addictive. So I'm gonna just cut out one of these. I'm gonna go in and cut this larger one. Guys, as you pop on here, guess what? This is the first time we've done this, but we are gonna be giving away one of these purse kits. And um, all you have to do is share this video, tag three friends, your name will go in for a drawing, and we're going to be giving it away. So I'm just cutting this transfer away from all of my other designs. I usually will just cut them away from my sheet as I need to use them for a project. These transfers are great for furniture. Um, but they're great for projects like this too. All right, so I'm going to, I'm later gonna come in and fill in like this. You see me, pull that up there so you can see it. I'm gonna be laying this out, see where composition, where I'm gonna have my script, but I'm just gonna lay in my butterfly and I wanted to show you how to do it. So let's do it off the purse. It's much more interesting. See, if we just pop that little thing right there in the center, it's not gonna be nearly as interesting if we allow his wing to kind of go off to the side. So if you've not worked with the transfers, this is the back side, and it's by pressure and lifting. So I'm just gonna lay him here like this. I'm gonna go in and press it all over. But now let me show you. So we're gonna go on, and if you order the kit, if you just go to the link below, you'll actually get these little woodcraft kits. Uh, not only to mix your resin, but also to be able to do your transfer. So when you're doing transfers, it's important. It's, a, it's part of a press and lift, press and lift, press and lift. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So as I'm putting pressure, I'm using the edge, kind of a 45 degree angle. Do you hear that? Now, you're gonna notice something to happen. See how it's turned lighter? Let me show you. Look at that. That's because the transfer itself is starting to pull away from the backing and go onto my resin acrylic. So now, I'm just gonna continue. There's quite a bit of pressure. That's why I wanted you to hear that sound. And as I'm doing it, I am lifting it, I'm pressing and lifting pressing. You can't just go and rub all of it and then pull the whole thing off. You've got to work your way across to make sure that it's all done. See, is it starting to release? Okay. 
Okay, I'm working my way around. As you pop on here, say hey. My name's Amy, if you've never tuned in before. My name's Amy Howard, and I am with a maker studio. And I love, as I say, crafting a beautiful life. I love creating things that are different. I definitely think this is something that I would totally see in Saks Fifth Avenue in Atlanta or Nordstrom's. They have a whole area of purses that are very, very creative. And those of you that love side hustles, I'm gonna get that edge like that. You like making things and being able to resell them. This is the perfect, this is the perfect thing going into football season. All right, so. Here we go. So now our butterfly is on our purse. I can go around and I continue to work on it, but I wanna be able to show you uh, one that is actually already kind of finished. As far as, this is where your creativity can come. You can lay out um, on the transfer how much um, wording you want, how if you wanna be able to do the post. This is more of an 18th century feel um, as far as the actual pattern and the designs, I think the vintage feel, it's just fabulous and it looks great on this purse. But I think after you do one side, I think it's really great to be able to have them to wear they're different. So see how the front and the back of my purse is gonna be totally different. Is that not the most fun? So just use your creativity and have fun with it. All right, so now you're gonna see in your kit, you get a frame. This is the frame that the, the purse actually fits in. This is so easy, guys. And then here is the chain. Now, I will tell you, if you wanted to, you could take these off and you could carry this as a clutch. So we're talking, we're talking parties, we're talking cocktail parties, we're talking gatherings, concerts, football games, all the things that you'll be able to carry this purse to are gonna be amazing. All right, so all you have to do with your purse is you're gonna notice that there's an inset here. And all you have to do is put some um, super glue or a hot glue gun and put that down into this little um, valley. And when you put your glue in there, your, your purse edge is just gonna pop right in. That's it. So that way you're gonna turn it over. You've got your other side. You go in and put your glue in here. and then pop in the other side. And then that way, if you wanna be able to add your chain, you can, so that way you can throw it over your shoulder. Is that like the cutest thing you've ever seen? I am in love. I just think it's such a fun, fun project. I think it's very classic. I think it's something that um, you can definitely enjoy the bragging rights with, and it's something that is a fantastic gift, but it's something that you can have a lot of fun making for yourself to be able to enjoy and actually use. Now here's the, here's the fun thing. My granddaughter was like, Nana, this is absolutely beautiful. I was like, okay, good. I have something that I can make for my granddaughter and give it to her and she thinks that that's absolutely fantastic. So, so good seeing you. Share this video, tag some friends. Your name's gonna go in for a drawing. Day after tomorrow, we're gonna give away a kit for this amazing resin purse project but buy one for yourself and put it on your list to be able to give to somebody for the holidays. Have a great day, guys.